Hey people, today I'd like to talk about a topic which is important to all musicians. Maybe this is a familiar situation to you. What exactly are you playing? I just play triplets. Well, those aren't triplets. All oh, right, you mean... But I don't want to stir up any prejudices with regard to certain musicians. Because this mistake occurs among all musicians. Because neither of the two was a triplet. A triplet does not mean that it is just a group of three adjoining notes. In fact, it is a very explicit rhythmic phenomenon, or rather a specific rhythmic system, different from the binary system which relies on doubling from quarter notes to eighth notes to sixteenth notes. With a triplet we are not doubling the notes and thus cutting their value in half. Rather we now cut for example a quarter note into three notes of the exact same length. This is the ternary system. There are many ways to count a triplet. For example one and a two and a three and a four and a, or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet and so forth. Just find something that's easy for you to articulate even at faster tempos and make sure that all the syllables always have the exact same distance. We write down triplets as three connected notes with a little three on top of them. For the ease of the reader, they are sometimes connected with this kind of tie or a bracket. So while before one quarter note contained two eighth notes, with the triplet it now contains three notes. A lot of songs are based completely on the ternary system. In that case, they are sometimes notated as a 12 eighth note measure, which is made up of groups of three straight eighth notes. But sometimes mu musicians like to alternate between the binary and the ternary system. Because straight notes and triplets have a proportion of two to three, this causes an interesting acceleration or retardation effect. Now some may say, why do you have to be so strict with the terms and definitions? After all, you can't know everything and I like to play intuitively anyway. I think it is very important to play intuitively and from the heart. It is much more important than virtuosity. But you can only play intuitively what you have learned somewhere along the way and then internalized it. If you try hard to always enhance your knowledge, you constantly expand your repertoire of tools for musical expression. And if you internalize these, there is even more to play intuitively. Of course, you can learn a lot just by listening. But if you only adopt things from other musicians without understanding the systems which they are based upon, you are limited to copying single elements and don't learn to use these systems creatively on your own to build something personal from it. That's why I almost never play songs of other drummers or memorize famous grooves or licks. I always focused on acquiring basic knowledge and skills and understanding systems so that I could build my own musical personality and expression from that. If you are not afraid to always tackle new subjects, you will stay at the top of your game and always gain new inspiration. Your musical understanding will improve and you will play more deliberately. Of course, you can't know everything. But the triplet is a very common phenomenon and the correct definition is so important to precisely communicate with your bandmates and prevent misunderstandings. A great help to learn about these different rhythmic systems is 
the rhythmic pyramid. Ideally, you see all the different node values and their subdivisions one upon the other, so their length and proportions are apparent, contrary to this alternative. The rhythmic pyramid serves as a reference and helps to understand the different rhythmic systems and their relations. But you can also generate a lot of great exercises from this. All right, that's what I have to say on this topic. I hope it was helpful to you. If so, please like, share and comment this video. And if the scene from the beginning seemed familiar to you, why not share this video with your bandmates so that we can all communicate better and enjoy making music together. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.